Hello, hello, hello. All right. Uh, where do we start? Where do we start? First, uh, Arsenal lost to Brighton Hove Albion after Enoch Mwepu uh, fucking killed them. Uh, then we have Manchester United losing to Everton, who have been terrible. And then we had this game, uh, this game, Aston Villa versus Tottenham. And Aston Villa, good team, very, very good team, uh, really, really tested us in the first half. And we won 4-0. to zero. So, there's that. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear some background noise. There's construction going on because I live in Seattle and there's always construction going on. Uh, let's see here. Mike, 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 Mike. Cool. Um, but holy sh Nike, Sonny. Uh, wow. No, he's insane. 17 goals in the Premier League. Uh, six assists. That is, let's see, let's see here. So, uh, combined goals and assists, this is what I'm going to do. Mo Salah has 20 goals, 10 assists. Never mind, okay, look, Mo Salah is amazing. Uh, Son has 17 goals, 6 assists. Okay, compared to Mo Salah, whatever. But that's really, 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 really feckin' good. And you know what? This might be the first season ever, well, n not the first season ever, the first season uh, since Kane has become like a staple of the team that he's not going to be the top scorer, which is really interesting. Um, and I would love for it to be Sonny, if there's anyone, because he deserves it. He's such a cult hero. He's such an icon for our club. Uh, I think he's such a great image for us. I think he's a brilliant person and a brilliant personality and a brilliant player. I mean, the left-footed volley for the first goal is insane. Uh, the timing of the run for uh, that knotted on goal was uh, insane. And you know he's just going to tuck it away over the keeper. And then the last goal is feckin' superb as well. I mean, he's just unstoppable on his day. And him with Kane and now Decky is uh is just so fun to watch. It's it's our own little um MSN, you know. It's great. Uh Dejan Kulisevsky, I, I just wanna give a big shout out to a goal and an assist today. Really nice finish, like very narrow angle. Left footed just slots at home. Brilliant, brilliant goal. Um, not everyone can do that. And uh, no, I mean, the assist was great as well. He he uh, has this weird habit of like making it seem like he's going to lose the ball or like nothing's going to come of it. Because what he does is so simple, but uh, it just, he makes it work somehow. And um will dribble it around people and play a good pass into a good area and they'll, they'll score off of it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, somehow Kane hasn't scored in the last three games and we've scored 12 goals. <laughs> That's insane. That's insane. I bet Kane's pissed, but, like, two assists today, not like he played bad. Um, yeah, no. Ugh. I love this team. I really, really do. I thought Emerson had a really good game today. Romero was shaky in the first half, as with Dyer and Davies, but he recovered and we did well. I mean, I think how you push Tottenham's buttons are exactly what you saw from the first half with Aston Villa pretty much murdering our players. But we coped with it, and we just kept running with it. And um, immediately from the second half, I could tell... Conte was just telling them, if you get the slightest amount of pressure, just pass it backwards, no pressure, just open up the space, get space for yourself, you know, keep possession just a little bit, and we'll be fine. And we were flying, we were more than fine. Jesus, what has Conte done, man? It's ridiculous. 
Oh, I love also how it says preferred foot both on Sun's profile here. That's really good. Um, yeah, now, let's see. Yeah, Kane has seven assists as well in the Premier League. Not bad. Um, seven assists, blah, blah, blah. Let's see, voting for man of the match, it's got to be Youngman's son. But I also want to give a big shout-out to Hugo Lloris because in that first half, we would not have survived without that man. Um, there were some crucial saves. I think I saw where he made seven saves in just the first half, which is insane. Um, true captain material, really, really big stuff made some really difficult saves look easy. Um, yeah, Hugo is so underrated. Love him so much. Um, yeah, Romero just, you know, so good in every single aspect that he can be. Um, I was a little bit upset when Lucas came on before Stevie, especially with how heavy his touches have been and how much he, like, almost attempts to lose the ball, but... Whatever, that's besides the point. Uh, I just don't want Stevie to leave, and I fear that he's going to because there's no place for him right now. Um, Hoybier and Bentoncourt were pretty solid once that we started gaining tempo in the game again. It's all just about momentum. I think we're building on some tough games. Like, Steven Gerrard has turned Aston Villa into a really, really good team. And... We, we were able to go there and do our thing and come away with it um, pretty easily in the end, despite some pressure in the first half. And I think that's what we need, just bring on challenge after challenge and we can keep growing from it. It's insane that Conte hasn't even had a preseason yet and um, we are this good. We're this good. Uh we're three points clear of the top four. We just need to keep going. We do have Liverpool. Um, yeah. God. Uh, I hope Matt Doherty's okay. Um, apparently he has a brace on his right knee. That's not great. Um, God, that sucks because he's been really, really good recently. I think he has like five assists or something or I don't know two goals or, uh, you know contributing a fair amount from the wing back position uh probably been our best wing back um went on form so such a shame to lose him but also I think we can we have enough quality to cope with Alma uh, as evidenced by the second half hopefully um who we have next I believe we have Brighton next who've just beaten Arsenal, so maybe they'll do us a favor and roll over, but uh, I don't know. Let's see. Matches. Yes, we face Brighton next Saturday at 4.30 a.m. my time. That's some good stuff. Uh, then Brentford, then Leicester, then... Leicester's... Uh, Brentford's going to be tough as well, especially with Ericsson being on top form, apparently. Uh, Liverpool, it depends on if they have, uh, the title wrapped up or not. Then we face Arsenal directly after Liverpool, then Burnley and Norwich, which are two easy wins, hopefully. Um, yeah. Wow. I'm really happy with this team, and I'm really excited for this team next year. I think we're... Pretty much gonna do it. Knock on wood. Um, we're gonna get into the Champions League. I really, really hope. That would be so cool. I would love to see a Champions League night again. I know Conte doesn't have the best record in the Champions League, but just the presence of being there. One of the top teams again. To discredit any other outside opinions would be really, really nice. And uh, I think Conte's the man to do it. He's been uh, immense oh god i love you all i love conte i love the team uh wow some good good stuff today 
and hopefully we can just keep building and growing. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll be streaming Monday. Be sure to catch that if you want. Um, Shikish Makis on Twitch. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys next time.